Hello everyone and welcome back to DMG. It must be like hard drive season or something because I'm getting so many of these lately. Um, today's subject is a 40 gig travel star, uses IDE, uh, used back when it worked. Apparently this was removed from a laptop that went poof. Uh, the laptop works fine, the drive doesn't. Now, let's look at this date of manufacture, August 2005, which seems a bit late for a 40 gig IDE laptop drive. Like, that that's well past SATA era, so it's interesting. Now, there were three main, you know, Hitachi brands back when they were their own company, Hitachi, HDST. You had your desk stars for your desktops, your travel stars for the things you travel with, so like laptops, netbooks, and uh, your ultra stars for your servers. I'm surprised it's a it's a Hitachi drive that died. That's really rare. It, it's you know it's the desk stars that have the good reliability. Oh, that's not a screw. That's the filter. Okay, um, rookie mistake. <laughs> I should know better, I, I do this a lot. Alright, we're gonna get a small tip. Don't laugh. Uh, and just start going around the edge. It's thick enough to be two platters, so I wonder if it is. Is it not? No, it's one platter. It's just a very thick one platter drive. Wait, the hole I punched was not the filter. That's just like a cover over the drive. Huh, interesting. Yeah, the filter's all the way over here. You've got this pattern on the inside of the drive that looks like the Computer Clan channel logo. Interesting channel, go check it out. Um, tiny channel gives shout out to large one. Uh, let's see. Is this a metal park mechanism? This drive is built different. Uh, load ramps, which is great. All laptop hard drives should have that. It should be illegal to make a laptop drive without load ramps. This is what this is. This is a metal park lever. No way. Drives would hold up so much better if companies spent the extra .01 cents to put a metal park lever in their drive. There you can kind of see it. The actual reading, writing part of it is a little needle that extrudes out from the body. So like, right here. Oh, for f sake, just move. There we go. Yeah, so it has trouble moving. Uh, it likes to stick to the platter. I just popped that metal park lever out. Here you can see. Looks like we've got a magnet. Oh, here we go. Yeah, you've got a magnet on the end of it. That I guess, like, pulls the head back. And then the part that locks in to the rest of the plastic mechanism. The retention clip. Um, as usual, it's a laptop drive, so your magnets aren't too big. Uh, this head is just strange. Like, like why make a drive this thick but only put one platter in it? The, the only point of making a drive this thick is putting two platters in it. But anyway, ramp aside, it would have been great if this had worked. But it just had several issues, so um, it would not read in my Windows 98 laptop. So, that's it for this video. Thank you everyone for watching. Uh, go check out the other hard drive teardowns on this channel if you're interested in that. Consider scribing. Scribing! <laughs> Scribe to the channel, guys. Uh, if you really, if you really enjoy the videos, consider subscribing. And uh, that's it for this one. Thanks everyone for watching. See you next time.